Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, FIoT. In today's class, we are going to learn a topic called as Basics of Networking. Okay. So, uh, networking with respect to IoT, Internet of Things, is somewhat little bit different and we need to discuss about how these networks are connected or how these uh, networks are bonded or binded between several uh, domains or several steps or the several process okay so before getting into the basics of the networking with respect to the iot we need to see the convergence of domains with respect to the iot okay so in the iot technology some are very well defined and some are very well not at all defined okay so if you see the uh, graphical representation in a chart form over here okay so there are few well defined and uh, there are few which are not well defined okay so coming to the well defined iot technology so energy harvesting okay so uh, can be considered as one of the iot breakthrough innovation and uh, coming to the integration of cloud technologies nowadays all the iot devices are integrated into cloud technologies okay which can be considered as very well uh, defined and coming to the not well defined it is it can be comes under like an iot research or a basic research with respect to the nanotechnology or teleportation and uh, well defined can be considered as our virtual world so these are the several uh, things which are must included in the iot with respect to the networking first one is the device the main iot uh, hardware device which will be responsible for the data gathering okay so then comes the local network it can be an uh, server or anything which can be uh, used to uh, take this particular data and third one is the internet okay so internet of things itself need an internet right in order to process the data okay so internet is one of the crucial point in order to have this uh, networking process and at the back end we also need a back end services where uh, analyzing the data processing the data everything will be done and at the end the applications will be implemented okay so whatever the device is made for for whichever application the device is made okay for that application okay the whole process will be continued with respect to the networking so see here so the, there are several uh, things it can be a surveillance camera it can be an uh, uh, home automation or it can be an industrial automation or temperature monitoring or anything okay so whatever that camera or a sensor is gathering that particular information that is sent to a local network okay then to internet using an internet we are sending it for uh, long distances for the backend services here the backend can be the storage of the data monitoring the data or uh, manipulating controlling that particular uh, data or gathering the analyticals everything okay so it can be with respect to the communication it can maybe with respect to the data processing it can be analyzing or analytics regarding that or it can be a server or a storage okay so this is what's happening so see if you consider the functional components of iot so the component for interaction and communication with uh, other iot devices is also very much crucial okay so and component for processing and analysis the operation so uh, one thing is we also need to have a component to interact with the another iot devices and not only that we need to have a component for to processing as well as anal analyzing that particular operations okay and we need a component for the internet interaction we need a component for the web services of application whatever the uh, graphical user interface we will be using for several applications with respect to iot we will be using that component okay so in component to integrate application services all those services can be in integrated to that particular uh, whichever application is required okay and at the last comes the user interface it's a 
uh, good and must component. It's a user interface to access that particular IoT data or the device. Okay. So these all are the functional components of IoT with respect to the networking or processing all over the IoT. See. It is an example of IoT implementation. If you see at the left side, there is an Zigbee, which can be considered as a data transfer with respect to the radio signals. There might be a controller or a processor. There might be a sensor. All this comes under the IoT device uh, setup. Okay, From there, using a router or uh, some local network, we are sending the signals to the proxy server. Proxy server is nothing but the, it is connected to a whole internet through which uh, we can uh, uh, we can communicate throughout the world from there it goes to the web socket from the web socket it, the data will be stored in the server and from the server whenever we require that particular data can be processed and under the analytics okay at last it can be utilized for either monitoring or either for controlling okay so actuation is one of the thing like uh, glowing and bulb, okay, moving a motor or running a motor, it can kind of uh, actuation, okay. So starting from the sensor, collection of data from the sensor till the actuation in between all these gateway, proxy server, internet, web socket, cloud server, analytics, all these step-by-step -step process, everything comes under the networking process only, okay. So if you see the complexity of the networks, okay, so growth of networks is very much complex, okay? Interference among the devices. Sometimes there will be a lot of disturbance, noise, or the interference among the IoT device, which is very much complex with respect to the uh, networks, okay? And network management itself is a complex one, okay? So heterogeneity in the networks, okay? And not only that, the protocol standardization within the networks. So if at all you are using a protocol, for a particular networks, okay? And if at all you want to communicate with between those two network, okay? So protocol standardization is one of the main task in order to maintain that particular network. So complexity network uh, in uh, covers all these kind of problems, okay? See, coming to the wireless networks, okay? So wired is okay, somewhat we can manage, but coming to the wireless networks, traffic at load management, okay? So there might be a lot of data packets coming at a time. Okay, we don't know. Okay, so traffic of the data and the load management. Okay, if the servers are uh, not sufficient, what to do? Okay, so all these problems will raise with respect to the net wireless network. Okay, and variations is wireless network, wireless body area. Okay, so it can be like an uh, sensor. Okay, those sensor will be taking the or reading the values with respect to time every second the data will be keep on changing so that particular variation in the data need to be handed over to on a wireless network and it should be time to time it should be delivered to a particular server or other devices okay so networks and the other personal area networks interoperability okay network management overlay networks all these comes under also need to be considered with respect to the wireless networks.